Hey everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve. I'm Donna. We are Happy Hard Treasures. We are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. Kind of a little bit different video today because it's Saturday with the 4th of July. The shipping has been all messed up. It's kind of thrown off our schedule yeah. for videos. It's thrown off the schedule for everything. And we're not going to show you what solds. We took some stuff to the post office, but honestly, the last couple days over this slow. holiday area, it has been <clears> absolutely <throat> pretty dead on eBay. And the reason it's been dead on eBay is A, I think the holiday may slow down because people are busy, and B, um, we go in cycles. Like, we'll have a whole bunch of stuff that's like dollar auction stuff, and then it slows down our eBay listing, and that's what's happened here. Yeah. And sometimes we have a whole bunch of stuff that's eBay listing, slows down our dollar auction listing. It all kind of evens out in the end, but I honestly think that's part of the problem. Yeah. Is we've, we've had been doing... a lot of the turtle stuff on dollar. And some furniture. We've had a lot of success. Like, one way or the other, usually one of the two formats is going really, really well, and the dollar auction has been going really, really well, and eBay has slowed down because it doesn't get the attention. So, or now the booth, we throw the booth in the Yeah, mix. the booth has uh, really well. been doing really, really well too. So, you know, where can we put all of our time? It'd be great if we could put that much time into both formats, but you can't. So, whatever we come across, that's what gets the attention. So, uh, we have a fun announcement to talk about. We're going to yeah. talk about that at the end. We have two. We have a couple things to talk about, honestly. And, but we're going to open some more boxes from the Iowa thing because do we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Don't we know what we're doing? We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we have. <laughs> we know what we're doing, kinda. But anyway, we're gonna get into opening some boxes and then we have, like I said, a fun announcement yes. and something else just to tell you about a shout out and a thank you. So let's go. Okay, this is what we look like right now. This is Iowa. This is all, uh, yeah, this here this is, is Iowa. This is our consignment stuff. Yes. Back here, you've seen this. This was the, the our friends clean out. The clean out before Iowa. And that is all fire by fire garage by. sale stuff like that. So yep. we're gonna take some totes. We're not gonna make this a super long video. So should we just start with what's on top? Uh, yeah, grab that jacket because I really want to show that jacket. I saw this jacket and I almost didn't grab it. And then I looked at the Look tag at and it looked like it might be some kind of military or something like that. Look here. U.S. Navy. Uh, now there are holes and stuff, but I'll put up a comp because I did look up this off this tag jacket flying man's intermediate G1 and this thing even with these holes I think is worth some money. So here's a couple comps, but obviously in the condition like this That's it's gonna affect it It'll affect it, but the leather is very good. So there's one little spot I noticed on the elbow of the leather but otherwise it looks pretty good yeah so so we grabbed that okay let's just grab right off the top this one does not look very exciting oh. um otter boxes you cannot, you cannot sell cannot put otter boxes on ebay just so you know in case you don't know we have such some cases i remember this tote and just electronics and cords and remote this is and garmin stuff Whatever this is, I'm not real sure. Looks like a DVD player of some sort. So that's what this is. Is there a Garmin in it? Looks like. Nope. Because if there's a Garmin in it, that changes everything possibly. That's this radio. I don't know. I'm not seeing one, but we'll go through it later. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be a Garmin in there. Hold on. So that's a Steve box. All right, let's find something better than that. For this one. Oh, more of the same. John Denver. John Denver 8-track. Who cares? Yeah. We have... Another otter box. A K1000 Pentax camera. I don't think that's great, but we'll check it out, of These course. These are all new. Okay. Little uh, micro cassettes, a box yeah. full of those. Old cell phones. More electronicals, you guys. Yeah, this is stuff I sort through all this and pick out and sort and well, whatever there's else. There's a little thing to go with those. Yeah. And there's a little uh, digital recorder, it looks like. Okay. So I'll sort all this stuff. Right on top, just show that. That's brand new with tags. This? Yep. 
We'll be putting this on the dollar auction, I'm sure, but it's a beach roll-up mat, but it has tags, like it's brand new, so. It looks like it's a, it is, it's a pineapple. All right. Look at that. So, we'll probably put that on today, honestly. Okay, this now? Uh, sure, if you want to. Okay. What have we here? This looks like a Donna job. Oh, a bunch of minis. I saw one mini Lego figure in there. Right there. It's a stormtrooper. Yeah. Just a whole bunch of little figures. Yep. I can't remember where this is from. Oh, this is the lid. This maybe was from downstairs. I guess so. Oh, he's a little otter. <laughs> there are a lot of beanie babies in this. In this Some cleanup. more wipes. Yep. Another beanie. Oh, this is a oh, masterpiece. We, we sell a lot of these. Home Co. Masterpiece Collection. Is there any chips you think? I don't think so. I think he ate that part. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay. another masterpiece we yep. did sell this one okay one just like him very good they sell way better than i thought they would when we first got them oh this is cute oh, this it's a is warmer. vampire blood oh fun from uh, bath and body works and brand new so it might be worth a little something something Oh, there's a couple more of those. What is that? There was a garage sale or something where I picked up Playboy mugs. These are the same, the Playboy Club mugs. They're obviously in rough shape, but they're from the Playboy Club. Here's a Bam Bam coin bank. Bottom's cut out, kind of rough condition, but this is a Darth Maul coin bank right there. What are these? Oh, there was Goo Gone and the chemicals and doing what we do. Obviously, Goo Gone is... Good to have. Oh, and Barkeeper's Friend. Barkeeper's Friend, another reseller's uh, great thing to have. An M&M's, like NASCAR, is it a bank. dispenser? I think it might be... Uh, I bet it's a dispenser. Dispen dispenser. Yep. M&M's, is that ceramic? Yeah. A ceramic collector's car there. Clean that up. Oh. And then these for the store, I guess. Nope, a couple of blank VHS tapes. We get $3 a piece at the store for them. And then an old Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Wheel cap That's cool. Right there. So, cool. Let us, let us pick this up real quick. Okay, we're going to switch it up now. Donna told me to open some things. We're not going to make this a super long video. We'll probably open like three more toes. Hopefully, find something a lot cooler. But uh, I got to tell you a couple things. First of all, I don't know if you like my shirt, but I like my shirt. Just got this in the mail yesterday. This is Ruquan Buckley. He played at the University of Nebraska here. He's a friend of our daughter's, and we met him several times and spent a little time with him, and we think he's a very nice, respectful, really good person, good guy. And so he transferred to Michigan State, so I got a T-shirt for Ruquan Buckley because he has our full support i hope that he does really well there and i hope he ends up in the nfl someday uh, he will he will go so, real so as we were moving things to make room we got a message on ebay and i'm going to read this to you and i'm not mad about it and i'm not going to complain about the person or anything but we sold this uh for 16.99 sold this 2001 tonka big fire department toy right brand new we don't open them and they sent a message and said i don't like to leave bad feedback but this is an awful toy. How it can't be called Big Firehouse, I don't know. It's a little junky McDonald's toy, not well made, comes apart when played with. Not at all very good for a young child. Very disappointing. I understand if you don't like it, but I'm like, why would you leave bad feedback? Like, I didn't design or make the toy. So, I did send this message back. First of all, I'm not sure why you would leave bad feedback for us as we didn't make or design the item. If you're not happy, feel free to open a return and send it back for a refund. Sorry this didn't work out, but obviously being a new item, we don't open the packages to test them or anything like that. Hope you have a great weekend. 
that's a kind of a frustrating message to get. Like, we didn't make the toy, so hopefully they just open the return and send it back and we don't get negative feedback, because that would be a frustrating one to get negative feedback oh, yeah. on. The feedback should be on your performance, performance your 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 uh, experience with the seller or with the buyer. How was the shipping? Did it come as described? Is everything the way they said it was? Something like that. If it's a poorly designed item, that's not like our fault. So anyway, hopefully they just do a return and that's the end of that. Let's do a few more items and then we're going to talk about a couple things and we're going to wrap this up in a pretty good timely manner today. All right, let's, I'm going to show this. Some people may think this is not interesting and not fun. But it is Hallmark ornaments. And as much as Hallmark ornaments, as many Hallmark ornaments aren't worth anything, and there are a lot of Hallmark ornaments that aren't worth anything, I'm telling you, there are a lot of Hallmark ornaments that are worth something. I'm just going to pop up some comps right now. These are Hallmark ornaments that we've sold in just the last couple months. And as you can see, there's some high dollar ones. We've sold $100 ornaments. We sold one or two over $100. So. We don't know what ornaments are in this tub, but we will definitely check them all and hopefully find some good stuff in there. All right, let's see what's in this tote right here. More Ooh. cards, more beanie, but look at that. They're Coca-Cola ones. Coca-Cola ones. <laughs> look. And we'll put, probably put, don't we put all these pretty much in the booth? These are you... super cute. Yeah, these are going to go in the booth because I listed the other ones in. Um, they didn't go very well. Okay. This is World War II. This is a, I think this goes like on a flag. I think this is a, is this like a cemetery when you put the little flag up? Oh. That could be it. So it that's kind of cool. I don't know if there's value in there or not, but that's really neat. And then we have sports cards. We have a 1990-91 Baseball's Hottest is that Rookies. Is Uh, looks like it. I mean, the plastic there, it looks like it's new when opened. And there's another one. What do we have here? We got basketball cards, 92, 93 Fleer. I think I had this whole set when I was in 92, 93, because I definitely collected these. I don't know what all is in here, what might be in here that's good, but whole box, whole book of basketball cards. Oh, we have a bunch more cards. 91, 92 Fleer basketball. So we'll have to see That'll be kind of fun for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not the greatest of years, but you never know. I don't know what all is going to be in these. Sports cards. This one just says sports cards. So there's that. Um, here's some Legos. Some more Legos and Legos instructions. Legos we sell Lego instructions. Oh, and there's a bunch more ball cards right there. So this is a tote full of ball cards and then look we got a whole bunch more baseball, baseball cards 1990 tops not a good year but that's okay 91 classic minor leagues Ooh, the there's rookies a Donruss 92 there's a pokemon card that's a good sign here's some more football cards um what's in here is it more basketball more basketball it is oh those are refractor cards what are those there might be something good there Inserts like there's a regular card like this, and then they make shiny ones that are a little harder to find. Oh, so that's fun. That's cool that there's refractors in there. Hopefully there's a Jordan refractor. But yeah, a bunch of basketball cards there. Cool. That's good stuff. And then down here, more cards there. And then here's there's a little bit of Pokemon, but these are obviously in there's rougher condition. There's a Dora. Dora card. That's funny. <laughs> so I'll go through these and check, see if there's anything that looks looks good or whatever. And we'll move these, you know, on the dollar auction. All right, let's grab one more here. Oh, that's a heavy one. Heavy. Let's see what we got in here that weighs a ton. Oh. Oh my goodness. Millie Vanilli, what? Is that what's in there? Uh, it's so. Yep, Millie Vanilli. There. Now it's, we've made all our money. Is this all records? I didn't know there was more records. In excess. The 45s are not great. They're Aerosmith. not worth a lot. Ooh, look but, at those. But that's cool. We'll sell them. Starship. Cheapers. There's a lot of them. A lot of 45s here. 
I was actually sorting the 45s that we had opened and other the records and a lot of the 45s I did find a couple tags like jukebox tags so they probably had all these 45s they must have had a jukebox at one point oh fun let's go through the big records and see if we can find anything good in the big records I will say that the big records the other day half of them got thrown out because they were scratched up real bad but it is what it is um Saturday, Saturday Night, Night Fever. Fever. That looks rough. Is this all 45? It's all 45s, dude. The whole thing. Bon Jovi. Wow. Cool. Well, you know what? That gives me a lot of hope. John that Lennon. Rock. If you remember in a couple videos ago, we sold a Bon Jovi 45. So I'm going to have to go through these and uh, check the good ones. And find see if I can girl. find some good ones. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Does that take you back? Me no, you. Michael maybe. Jackson, look at that. Yep. Brian Goodness. Adams, Prince. I've sold this before. Doesn't that take you back? Prince, nineteen ninety nine. Oh, it does me. Sweet dreams are made of this. <laughs> I prefer Marilyn Manson's edition, but that's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rudy Toot Toot. What the heck is that? Oh, John Cougar Mellencamp. We saw John Cougar Mellencamp once. Saw him as John Mellencamp. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Here, I have a few here. Let's just flip through these. And... Oh my goodness. ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. Yes. Right there. Dire Straits. Dancing on the Ceiling. Who was that? Oh, Lionel Richie. These are upside down. Robert Plant. Oh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Will Smith. Barry Manilow. Some loose ones. In excess. There's that Aerosmith one. John Cougar. Those, so these are Snap, Crackle, and Pop. <laughs> Billy Idol. Some loose ones. Andy Gibb. Elvis Presley. Great White. Once bitten, twice shy. These are uh, fun. Some older stuff. We Are the World and St Steve Winwood. So, yeah. You That'll guys, be fun to go through. We need to play these before you sell them. Oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> 45s are a pain, though. I, I, I have a record collection. I enjoy playing my records. 45s are a pain. They only play one song and then you gotta stop and flip it over. And yeah, but that song, oh, the memories, over. you guys. Prom so, songs. Prom songs. Oh prom my songs. goodness. Hey, I want to. Shout out. I want to do a shout out. And I want to shout out one person that I've never met and one person that we have met and we really like. Really nice guy. So a few days ago uh, on this eBay Thrifters group, somebody posted any other reseller YouTube channels that people watch. And they had a long, long list of all these YouTube resellers, and they had them sorted by subscribers. And it's like Paul Cantu, 692,000 subscribers. Honestly, 692,000 subscribers, I've never heard of him. And that don't mean anything against him. It's just you see what YouTube feeds you. So if you don't ever get it shown, you don't know about it. And then it's Froggy Flips, heard of them. Hurrier Tornado, we watch him. Jacob Starr, haven't heard of him. Taco Stacks, we've watched him. Crazy Lamp Lady, a lot of the people that people know because they have so many subscribers, of course. And so they said, any other YouTube channels that people watch? And there's like 200 and some comments. And out of curiosity, not expecting to find our name, of course, I scrolled through just to see if our name was on there. And when I scrolled down, I don't want to butcher this name. I really don't want to. Amy Mon Montout, 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 Montout. I'm going to go Amy Montout. It's M-O-N-T-O-U-T-E. She said, Happy Heart Treasures oh, and wow. Resell CNY. And we haven't ever watched Resell CNY. I've heard of them. But she said, Happy Heart Treasures. And I'm like, oh, that, that is so amazing. cool. So I gave it a little heart, of course, because that's what we are. And I said, oh, thanks so much, because that's really awesome that somebody's mentioned us. And then later in the same day, Rick Housden, who's a reseller and lives about an hour from here that we met a few weeks ago, he commented and he just said, happy hard treasures on there. So that's awesome. So if either one of you see this, I want to just want to say a huge thank you to you guys, because for you guys to post us on, I mean, there was hundreds of comments and all these different channels. And to get our name on there, that was really cool. So thank you both immensely 
Oh, 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 I have something. Oh, oh, oh. Donna just said, oh, 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 I have something. Oh, oh, I'm gonna stand by you. Oh. Okay, so I have something. Okay, she has something. You guys, we are yes. at, let me think. 1967 now? 66. 66. I think it's 19. Subscribers right now. And that's amazing. It's really, really close to 2000. And guess what happens when you get to 2000? What happens? We are going to do a drawing. We are? Yes. Okay. We're going to do a drawing. $50. $50. $50 eBay gift card. eBay I gift think. card. So you can spend it anywhere on eBay. You don't have to spend it with us. You can spend it anywhere on eBay. Yeah. But. So that'll be coming. Once we hit 2,000 so subscribers. like and share with your friends and encourage people to subscribe. But once we get to 2,000, we're doing a giveaway. Yeah. Well, in the, and once we get to 2,000, we'll do whatever the video is next. We'll talk about it in there and we'll tell you what you need to do to enter or whatever. Yes. But yeah, we're going to give away a $50 eBay gift card when we hit 2,000 subscribers. To say thank you. Speaking of giveaways, update on the map because we haven't shown a lot of shipping lately. We've been shipping things, but we have not filled in any of those three states. It's New Hampshire, Vermont, Vermont, and Alaska. Alaska. So, so uh, there's been no progress Luke, there. Luke, tell your Alaska friends. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's an update on that. Should we do one more tote before we... Yes. Let's do one more tote. I'll have Donna open one more and then we'll tell you about our announcement. What are we going to pick? I don't know. I, I see. I want to pick this one. You want that one? Mm -hmm. All right. Here, let me get it. All right. This was handpicked by Donna. Let's see if she's a good picker. Just because what do they see on the outside? Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Peanuts. Because he's a clown. There That's could be. Charlie Brown. Peanuts, I think, can be good stuff, dude. That's cool. There's Hallmark Keepsake Peanuts ornaments. I like that. What's this? What is it? What is it? You guys, is it Joseph? It is. Is it really? They're Joseph Originals and they spell Noel. Noella? There's O and E, but the E is kind of broken. Right here, I'll bet you. Oh. Yep. These are Joseph Originals, you guys. And there's the so O. The E was broken? The E was repaired. Oh, okay. And there's the N. Cool. So Joseph Originals, if they are in, you know, one piece, this has been broken. So Dang we can it. show that it's been repaired because look from the front. Yeah. But it's a Joseph's. Good. These are very old and collectible. So okay. that's cool. I didn't know this was in here. All right. What's this? <gasps> you guys. Oh. We, I forgot we found this. This is a naughty, nice, a miniature of the big one that we found. These are Jim Shore. Yep. Okay, so these are the ornaments. Love the detail yeah. on Jim Shore pieces. I'm a big Jim Shore fan. Love, love, love them. Yep. And then there's this one. Oh, but bigger. he's missing oh, something. Yeah. He's busted up a little bit. I bet it was another a one. partridge. Up. Yeah. That's a pear tree. And the top of his hat's missing. So he's, he's, he's broken. He's going to get recycled. <laughs> Somebody might want him. All right. What What's do we got this? with peanuts? Peanuts gallery. Nativity <gasps> accessories. Nativity? Oh, it's accessories. Yeah, but does that mean the nativity's in his box? Maybe. Let's see what's in here. Okay. So we have a shepherd, a wise man, a wise man, and a shepherd. Very cool. So that's. Someone Look at it. Let's put this back that's in the That's nativity box. right there. Is it really? Yep. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I picked Donna this box. Donna loves the nativities, right? Oh, I'm so glad I picked this box. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. We don't know if it's worth anything, but Donna loves nativities. I know so. that Peanuts is because you remember that one estate sale that we found them at? And I didn't get them because they were too much. Look at that. Look! Jesus, a lamb, another king, an angel, um, Joseph, and a Mary. And the, what do you call this? Creek? The stable? Stable. I don't know, I don't know fancy words. Look at that. Peanuts nativity. That's cool. Baby that's Jesus. honestly, that's like a neat, neat find. Whether or not it's valuable, that's cool. That is so cool. Can you pop up a comp? Yeah, I'll, we'll look it up and pop up a comp here. That is so cool, you guys. What year is that? Look on the box. On the box. I don't see a year anywhere on it, so. 
But anyway. That's so cool. All right. Now what? Keepers. What now after that? Oh, Boyd's Carolers. No, not Boyd's. Um, these are Home Co. All right. Carolers. Okay. Yeah, Home Co. Keepers. And what have we here? Oh, looks like another nativity of some sort. Will you balance it or open? I don't know the brands. Nothing stamped on the bottom or anything. Hmm. Okay, well it's another some sort of nativity. Here is something. It's a cow. It's a cow, but <laughs> it's stamped. Uh, don't know what that is. Is this forty-four? Maybe it's from nineteen forty-four. No. Oh. It's not 1944. I don't know. A camel. Is this? Is this precious moments? I don't think so, but I don't know. Not that I would know. That little symbol. Well, that looks like a precious moment down in there. So maybe there are precious moments. <gasps> oh, oh, it is. It's there. There's precious oh, moments and this other, there's two sets in here. Yeah. Two little nativities, cool. you guys. So we'll go through those later to figure that out. Nice. Okay. Then this looks like Home Co. as well. Yeah, it sure does. Yep, it is Home Co. All right. A couple angels. Yep. That one says angels on the side too. Oh, it's just, just more angels. Yep. Of the same kind. And then these. It's another nativity set of some kind. There's baby Jesus. And snap on the bottom, do you see or anything? They're felt. Felt on the bottom, anything on the back? You don't see any writing on them, but. And then it looks like another. A snowman, snowman nativity. So this is a whole box of nativities, you guys. Yeah. This is awesome. Very fun. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was a good box to end on. Yes, it was. All right. Now we want to tell you about our fun announcement we're going to have. Some of you watch a channel that we are friends with, and you may have already heard about this. If you do not follow Grams and Pops Vintage, you should go follow them. In late August, the last weekend in August, it's like the 26th, 27th, somewhere around there on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 29, 30, 31. There you go. Um, what is it? Bargains for You on 92. It's called Bargains for You on 92. They and have a Facebook page if you like more information. Yeah, we have went the last, and it's basically a highway sale. It's not super, super long. If you're familiar with Nebraska, it starts by Omaha, like I think in Wahoo. Yeah. And it goes to around Shelby area, which is uh, oh, south of Columbus. Columbus. Um, so it's not super long, but it is a highway sale, and we've went the last, I think, three years yes. since they started. They started three years ago. It's all the small towns, and it's so much fun. And we are going to go in Grams and Pops Vintage, uh, Corey us. and Teresa. They're going to come down here, and they are going to go, and we're going to go garage selling together. And the real announcement part, on Friday night, okay, Friday night, we are going to do some sort of dinner somewhere with like a meeting room if any people want to come and hang with us It'll and just chat reselling and buy your whatever. own food kind of thing yeah there's it's not, not a tickets. there's not tickets there's not anything like that but we're gonna just have dinner together and we're going to open it up and tell people where we're gonna be in case you want to come yeah, and we'll just, just say there. hi talk reselling talk whatever we want to talk just kind of hang out we're gonna do like mm -hmm. a hangout dinner uh, we're not sure on when and where exactly yet. We have a few ideas, but we want to get this out there so people can know about it. Yeah. And we have, uh, there is a Facebook page started, okay. so you can sign up. I'm putting the For link. For this event. Yes. I'm putting the link to the Facebook page in this description of this video. So if you're in the Lincoln or Omaha area and you want to come and say hi and just kind of hang with us, have dinner and stuff, Anyone is welcome. Just please sign up on the Facebook page. If you don't have Facebook, you know, you could always email or message okay, us question. or them. Do they have to be a reseller? No, of course not. So you don't have to be a reseller. Even no, if you just anyone. watch our channel, their channel, have a just friend who does, whatever. Just anybody that would want to come and just say hi and just hang out, whatever. That's, yeah. that's all it is. It's nothing formal, nothing super fancy. 
feel like um, thrifting yes yeah now tomorrow night sunday night i'm not sure the time but if you go to grams and pops vintage they are doing a live and he will be talking about it also so if you want to watch that yeah. head on over to their channel but that is coming the last weekend in august and we, we are excited to see about you it there yeah and we're, we're I gonna think have fun i'm going to suggest that we have name tags because i'm terrible with names and you Me all too. know our name but we don't know yours yeah i think so that's not a bad idea we're gonna honestly. have name tags so anyway, that's we're looking forward to that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. It'll be a fun couple days there. Uh, other than that, we have another big announcement coming, but we'll save that for the next video because it's something happening in the next few days, but not yet. So. And no, we're not increasing the size of our family in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Or our house. We're not increasing the size of our house or buying a more brick and mortar no. or nothing like that. No, no, but no, no, no. Anyway, anyway, we will address that at a later time. But hey, thanks everybody for watching. Do you have anything else? Thank Donna? you for commenting. We love the comments. Yes. Thank you all for watching. I am Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.